Hello, this is Trey Reed for the Lone Star Conference. Thank you for joining us. We're here with Midwestern State men's basketball coach Justin Leslie as part of LSE Basketball Online Media Day. Welcome, coach, and look forward to the conversation as always. No, thanks, Trey. Looking forward to it. In each of the last two seasons, the Mustangs made a strong push to close the season and reach the Lone Star Conference postseason tournament. What does the, your team need to do to take that next step? Well, I mean, I think for us it's just it continue to stay the course. Uh, we've steadily improved each of these last two years, and it started with just getting good young men, talented players that fit who we are on and off the court, and uh, and we've been making that progress. Um, you know, I'm, I'm excited for you know what we have in store this year. Uh, there's a lot of opportunity in front of us that uh, you know we're looking forward to take advantage of. And kind of in the same light, Coach, uh, the Mustangs were picked sixth in, out of 17 teams in the 2021-22 Lone Star Conference preseason poll. What does your team need to do to exceed those expectations? Well, uh, I, I mean, the Lone Star is a great conference. There's no no doubt about that. There's a lot of good teams, and you know, when you when you look at the you know the top the top tier of, of the conference, you're you're splitting hairs. Uh, you know, one or two games might be the difference between being first or second or seventh or eighth. And so I think for us, it's more about just focusing on consistency, uh, continuing to build, continuing to learn, and just uh, develop our team, our culture, and what we do. And over the course of a long season, now thankfully we're you know planning to be able to play a full season. Uh, by the time the end of the year rolls around, you know we look to be playing our best basketball and in position to um, you know win meaningful games when they count. And you know at the end of the regular season and into March. And you speak of the of the culture. You do push the mantra, be uncommon, as you build the winning culture here at MSU. What is it to be uncommon, and what do you want your players to take from it? Well, you know, we talk about be uncommon, and it, 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 it stretches into a lot of different areas of their life. Um, primarily, who they are as men. Uh, off the court when nobody's watching you know we have pillars of our integrity that we that we discuss daily and we want these young men in everything that they do to you know do it in a way that is going to represent you know first and foremost themselves their family you know their institution who they are uh you know in the classroom and every relationship that they have that, that they're not just doing things for the sake of doing them they're doing with an intentionality that is leading to you know their own growth and you know uh, at the end of the day this is this is the business of, of education and building young men and so taking opportunities every day to grow them uh, towards who they're going to be in the future I mean that's that's really at the heart of what be uncommon means um, we're not going to just go through the motions and anything that we do there's there's accountability where they need to look themselves in the eye, they, you know, in the mirror. They need to look their teammates and their coaching staff in the eye, always doing their best in everything that they do. And that's just what we strive for on a daily basis in our program. So now with a couple years under your belt here at Midwestern State, you have, especially with the COVID year, you have a lot of, um, a lot of returners. Uh, how, how does that help you having that kind of um, veteran uh, buy-in to to your system and, and knowing who you are and what you want at this point sure well you know the old I mean kind of trick that that I've always uh, subscribed to is you know get old and stay old and uh, you know we're starting to get uh, some older more mature players in our program um, just just in terms of years you know we have a couple guys now that are 21 22 years old which makes a big difference just in terms of their uh, ability to sustain uh, their level over the course of a long season uh, but now we've also had some young guys that have had the opportunity to play in some big games that were really focused and pushed in the off season uh, to grow to get better and now we're just we're working with them to view themselves in a different light although they're still young I mean we'll bring everybody back for next year as well I mean we're not we're not losing anybody I mean this is a, still a young team but a lot of those young players we have to shift the mindset within them of viewing themselves as a veteran viewing themselves as, so, as someone who's experienced and kind of shedding that 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 label of youth and inexperience and you know just you know, if they will view themselves in that way and hold themselves to that uncommon standard, uh, you know, I think we can really see a lot of results moving forward in a positive direction. Thank you, Coach. Looking forward to an, another great year. Thanks, Trey. You're watching the LSC Basketball Online Media Day on LoneStarConference.org.
Hello, this is Trey Reed for the Lone Star Conference. Thank you for joining us. We are here with Midwestern State senior Jalen Brown as part of LSC Basketball Online Media Day. Glad to have you with us, Jalen. Glad to be here with you, Trey. So, Jalen, the Mustangs closed the last two seasons on a high note, reaching the Lone Star Conference quarterfinals in both years. You have a lot of returning teammates and a lot of exciting newcomers. But what excites you most about this team heading into the season? Uh, well, right now, I feel like we're starting to flow as a team, one, one unit. I feel like everyone's starting to understand what we're trying to do and things that we're trying to accomplish on the defensive end, offensive end. And I feel like if we can continue to just click and communicate the right way and stay the course and trust the process, we'll be good. Definitely looking forward to the season. But looking into the year, MSU was picked six out of 17 teams heading into the 21-22 Lone Star Conference postseason poll. What does your team need to do to exceed those expectations? Uh, play our game, play our basketball, and just continue to believe in each other, like I was saying, and in what coach has for us and what we need to do. I think that some of our returning guys understand what we have to do and some of the task at hand. And as long as we could do what we need to do, our newcomers will, of course, be behind us 100% with it. Okay. Coach Leslie pushes the mantra, be uncommon and that reaches everything from on the court to off the floor. What does that mean to you, and how does that impact your time as a Mustang and as a, as a student athlete here at Midwestern State? Well, being uncommon, well, like it sounds uncommon, we do uncommon things. But being uncommon for us is just like, of course, trying to be positive at all times and do the right thing when no one is looking. Like, cause a lot of that's uncommon behavior doing the right thing. Of course, when no one is looking, it's easy to be the guy who's always doing this and that when the spotlight is on you. But when you're always doing something good on and off the court, when no one is looking, when your peers are looking, it'll show. And that is exactly what we do by being uncommon. Coming off of the COVID year, you guys kind of really stuck together. And one of the big things you'll you'll soon be graduating, and and oh, that's yeah. that's that's a big key for you. How important was that to you to get through? Uh, the graduation and and then and how how hard was it to combine that with being a student athlete and 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 competing at a high level on the basketball court? Oh well, I kind of don't let it get to me. I kind of just let basketball be basketball, let my school be school. So I just I kind of like to even it out. But like you were saying, my senior year this is a big year. It's kind of setting me up for what I want to do and be in life. And I think I um, have what I need, of course, thanks to the team and my coaches and the guys around me. I think I have what I need to be ready for life after college. So playing for Coach Leslie, I mean, obviously on the floor, you see a lot of three-pointers go up. Oh, yeah. A, a, lot, a lot of spread on the floor to get, get the space, to get, mm -hmm. get the shots to go in. A lot of a lot of two feet in the paint. You oh, hear yeah. these kind of things oh, all yeah. the time. <laughs> what, what's it like to play for Coach Leslie? Oh, it's exciting. It's uh, it's definitely uncommon. But one thing I will say in my three years here is we don't run, so we're not a track team. Everything is great. Without, when you don't have to run, it makes everything much more simpler. We believe in just being in basketball shape, being able to be explosive, being able to get up and down the court at a high rate without losing your energy, but we don't actually run. We don't actually interpret like suicides like most schools and coaches. I'll say that's one thing about playing for Coach Leslie that I love. We do not run. <laughs> that's not the top thing, is it? So Coach Leslie, you don't run, so that's that's the message, right? Yeah, we do not run. We're not attracting. We're not attracting. Good luck, Jalen. Look forward to seeing you on the floor. Yes, sir. Thank you, Trey, for having me.